Here's an example of how we can complete exploration number 15. We're starting with the parabola y equals x squared minus 8x plus 15. And the first thing we want to do is figure out what the vertex of this parabola is. Now to get the vertex, and we'll do the calculation here, uh, when, when we have a basic parabola, which is what we do have here, a basic parabola has a coefficient of 1 or negative 1 in front of the x squared term. So uh, in this case, we have 1x squared. So this is a basic parabola. So whenever you're doing a basic parabola, the x-coordinate of the vertex is the middle term, which in this case is negative 8, divided by negative 2. So whenever we're finding the x-coordinate of the vertex for a basic problem, we just take that middle term and divide by negative 2. In this case, negative 8 divided by negative 2 is equal to 4. So we know what the x-coordinate of our vertex is. Now, we have to figure out next what the y-coordinate of the vertex is, and we're going to do that by using synthetic substitution. So we're going to take our x-coordinate and place it in that little box. And then we're going to write down the coefficients of the parabola, which are 1, negative 8, and 15, which I'm getting directly from the, uh, uh, the equation for the function. So the first coefficient is 1. The second coefficient is negative 8. And the third coefficient is 15. And then we'll draw a line down here like this. And the first thing we do is bring down this 1. And we multiply 4 times 1, and we get an answer of 4, and we put it right here underneath the negative 8. Then negative 8 plus 4 is equal to negative 4. Then we multiply 4 times negative 4, and that gives us negative 16. And 15 minus 16 is equal to negative 1. So our vertex then, let me spell this out, vertex. Not easy to write this out. I suppose I could type it out instead. OK, but here's the vertex. And the vertex is positive 4. That's the x coordinate. And we just calculated that our y coordinate is negative 1. And so um, we're going to put that here. We're going to plot that point in Desmos, 4, comma, negative 1, like that. OK, and you can see already um, it's made this purple dot down here at 4, comma, negative 1. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of all this writing. And I'm going to close this writing application. So. We have, there's our vertex down there, 4, comma, negative 1. And you can see it if we put the label on it. Okay, so now here's the cool thing. We're going to copy uh, this vertex. Okay, and to do that, we're going to select the vertex, which is open parenthesis, 4, comma, negative 1, close parenthesis. So we just selected that. Then I'm going to push Control-C or Command-C depending on whether you're using a PC or a Mac. And then I'm going to paste this twice, Control-V or Command-V. Okay, so um, we've plotted, what we've just done is we've plotted the vertex three times. Okay, but now we're going to use the pattern I taught you earlier today for graphing the basic parabola, which is starting from the vertex, you move over one and then up one. Then you move over two, and up 4, over 3, up 9, over 4, up 16. In other words, what we're doing for every horizontal distance that we move, either to the right or to the left, we take that distance and square it, and that gives us uh, the number of units that we're going to move vertically uh, to plot this. So in here, uh, in our vertex point, we're going to add one because we're moving this one. We're going to move to the right. To, excuse me. We're going to move one to the right. You can see it's already plotted the point 
5 comma negative 1. But then we're going to take that one that we moved horizontally and square it, which is 1, one squared is 1. So we're going to add 1 to the vertical component or the vertical coordinate also. So you see that black point just moved up. Now we're going to do the same thing, only this time we're going to move to the left. So we go minus 1. So 4 minus 1 moves to the left 1. And we square minus 1, and we get positive 1. And we add that to the y-coordinate. So there are our two first points for our, uh, for our parabola. Okay. So then I'm going to paste the vertex again twice. This time we're going to move 2 to the right. We're also going to move 2 to the left. Okay, and when we move 2 to the right or 2 to the left, we, we square 2, that gives us 4, so we're going to add 4 to the y, com, the y coordinate. And we're going to do that for both of those points, and you can see that uh, we get corresponding points on our screen here. Okay, and then we're going to do it again for two more points. This time we're going to move to the right 3, we're also going to move to the left 3. So move to the right 3, move to the left 3. 3 squared is 9, and that tells us how far we're going to move vertically. So plus 9. And we get two more points on our parabola. I'm going to paste two more points. We're going to do this until we um, finish 5 to the left and 5 to the right. So in this case, we're going to move 4 to the right, and we'll move 4 to the left. 4 squared is 16, so that means we're going to add 16 to the y-coordinate. Okay, and we'll do two more points, and then call it a day. So for this one, we're going to move 5 to the right, and we're also going to move 5 to the left. Whoops and make that a 5. Okay, now 5 squared is 25, so we're going to add 25 to the y-coordinate for both of these points. And let's move this down here, and there they are. Okay, we can see that they, that they line up there. Okay, now these points will be on our parabola, or so we think. Well, let's go and check that by showing our parabola. So I'm going to show the parabola. And booyah, grandma, there you have it. You can see that on our parabola, we have each of the points. And we can label them, too. We can label each of those points. This is one of the cool aspects of Desmos. So there are all of the points that are plotted. Notice that and, and labeled, plotted and labeled. And notice that when we label them, okay, that Desmos does the calculation for us. For example, um, this point right over here that I'm pointing at, uh, 4 plus 3 comma negative 1 plus 9. Well, 4 plus 3 is 7, and negative 1 plus 9 is 8. So that is the point 7 comma 8, which you can see right over here is 7 comma 8. Okay, and then down here further, uh, 4 plus 5 is 9, negative 1 plus 25 is 24, so this point down here should be the point 9, 24, and lo and behold, there it is up here on our, on our parabola. So again, this is the method that you're going to use to complete exploration number 15. Hope you enjoyed this.